Another edition of Friday Night Frenzy on Western Mass News. I'm your host, Matt Satilli. Hope you're all cozied up and inside. Western Mass News is here with you. Mother Nature playing a factor in some non-contests tonight with Springfield Public Schools canceling. The big showdown between 10 and 3 Springfield Central boys and 7 and 6 Putnam will be put on hold. That game rescheduled for Tuesday night. Longmeadow girls hoops, they avoid playing their third game in as many days with the postponement of tonight's game at Springfield International Charter School. No word yet on when that will be made up. The 10-2 Bulldogs back in action Monday night at Drury. Now to the highlights we go. On Wednesday night, the Longmeadow girls playing on the road at Central, trying to upset the Golden Eagles. Heaven Morris passed to Jordan Tautalatis. Three is good. Jordis one more time. Same spot, same result this time from Sydney Dodds. Heaven Morris down low. Can't get the first one to go. Once more gets it this time off the glass. For the Lancers, Jillian Joseph through traffic in the paint. Yes, scoop and score, but not this time. It's Morris with the steal. Gonna take this one, coast to coast. Pushes through a body and a one. Central rolling early on. Tautalatatis, great game from number two. Layup ball, little twirl around the rim. And then Alicia Mondin, finish and the foul. Central wins big 72-24 at halftime. Julie Bahati presented with a prestigious be good now, Ward. At halftime, we spoke with her about the honor. It feels really special to me because now I'm like a part of a family, especially because I had the mentor, Alicia Maxwell, receive it before me, and I kind of really looked up to her. And she left that leadership and sportsmanship, like, you know, in me, and the hunger just grew stronger. So, like, you know, this really means a lot to me. It means, like, people seeing are seeing what I'm doing. The defending state champs improved to 13 and 3, their win streak up to 7. Next up, trip to Westside on Monday for a date with the Terriers. We got a good boy in the house, Officer Rubin of the Longmeadow Police Department looking to see if the Lancers could snap back Thursday night against Northampton. Jillian Joseph fakes the pass, takes it to the rack, spins around the rim. Ava Azaro says, I can do that too, I'll do it right in your grill. Through contact, up and in. Freshman Emerson Cage looking for a teammate, nope, taking it to myself, to the hole. Joseph on the move, she throws this one up, gets it to drop. Now it's Cage, the freshman stud on the breakout. Nice dribble move, splits the defense, finger roll, count it. Outlet pass coming in from Bree Heafy to Azaro. She's got space in front of her. That one's good for an easy hoop. Cage on the opposite end, drops it to Sam Michon. Right back to Cage, nifty spin move. Can't get it, but guess who's there? Number two, put back, yes. Lancers win 43-35, and Officer Rubin leaves a happy boy. The Amherst Hurricanes on the road in Springfield, facing off against Pope Francis. Cards up by double digits on Thursday. Late first half, Ryan Vitavelli bounce pass for A.J. Hall. Vitavelli now on the receiving end from Pat Flaherty. Double teamed, he goes up, and that one is good. Then an O-look pass coming in from T.J. Reed to Hall in the corner. How nice is that? Not going to miss that one. Next play, it's the last one before halftime. Marciello Aquino with the handles. Step back, beats the buzzer. Count it, switch. Pope up 20. Coming out of the break now, T.J. Reed gets a screen, drives, outstanding body control. Number two, good. Number three, rather. Canes respond. Count the dribbles with me. Ready? One, two, easy ball work. Christian Martin makes it three. Splash. Cam Vitavelli, the senior, the thousand point scorer, drives right. Nice finish in the paint. More good ball movement coming here. Swing pass, this time from the Canes. Goes to Ryder Wright Kirk. Three in the corner, tickles the twine. Brandon Stewart drawing the double here. He's gonna drop it off for Martin. That's no good, but look who's there to clean it up. Stewart getting it, pinballing around, up and in. Good positioning here now from Ryan Vitavelli, board and the putback. And then the brother tandem to wrap this one up. Off the inbound pass, little alley-oop. Pope wins by a dozen, 68-56. It's now time for our Friday Night Frenzy Game of the Week. The West Side Terriers at 13-2 battling a feisty Minichaw. Rowdy crowd at Falcon Court tonight. Hassanat Ashraf looking for a teammate. Dishes to Evan Villalongo. Draws the D. Joseph Ignary there to put it home. Chalk would respond, though. Chris Moreno to Jordan Hall. Make it three. Splash. Then Ashraf to Joseph Kosior. Back to Ashraf. Man in his face. Doesn't matter. Jab step. Pull up. Triple. Bucket. Good defense from the Falcons. Bounces off a leg here. Gus Prisbull puts it in. Then it's Kosior up for Hassan at Ashcraft. In the lane. Yes, driving it right to the hole. Count it. End of the third quarter now. Kosior 
again. Takes it on the drive. Will he beat the clock? Yes, just before the buzzer sounds. West side up seven. You know who doesn't take too kindly to that, though? Jordan Hall sends it all the way to Munson. And then he passes to Amir Gaminoff. Acrobatic finish. We got a close one here in Wilbraham. But in Ignary in the corner. Yes, count it all. Terriers walk out with a 42-37 win.